So I wanted to um, cover a common thing that I've seen a lot of 3D artists have difficulty with. Um, so in um, Unity is very unique that um, it's the only program that I know of that um, the texture setup is a little bit different. So let me go ahead and find something that I wanted to chat about. So a lot of, um, if you're having issues with, um, in, in this case, I'm going to call it roughness map in Unity. Uh, Unity is unique, and one area where it's super confusing is it does a lot of channel packing. So if you're like a 3D artist and you're coming in um, from different uh, 3D art friendly packages like like Marmoset or Maya, uh, where the emphasis emphasis isn't on packing the textures, it gets a little bit confusing because it's most 3D programs, they use um, uh, a texture map called Roughness, but Unity doesn't have that. So here on Unity's um, website, you can go to the wiki, and you'll see this thing um, where it talks about this. Um, so the channel packing and the, the texture map that's oftentimes the most confusing in Unity. And let me go ahead and bring up Unity real quick so we can have something to talk about specifically. So I have an example material here where I'm selecting in here and you'll see that well, let me go ahead and create a new empty material so the default material that's created when you right click and you create a material you'll see this is base map and then there's this thing called metallic map and then there's smoothness parameter here this is super confusing because you know I think unity is the only one that really does this out of all the programs that I've heard of in the last 15 years um, most programs refer to these maps as separate maps. So be, uh, usually it's like metallic texture map, and then there's a roughness texture map. And you'll notice in this folder that I have set up, um, I'm just calling it a traditional setup. I, I don't really know uh, what else to call it. I have an albedo map, I have an AO map, emission, metallic, normal, and roughness. Um, and if you're coming from any other engine or uh, modeling program, think Unreal, uh, Maya, Blender, um, they all kind of, their PBR workflow kind of comes uh, with this format. So you bring in a roughness map and you try to plug it in, it just looks really weird in here. Um, one thing that I like to do is when I see this, it, it, the crazy thing is, is I've noticed that I've seen like senior artists, 3D artists, people who've been 3D modeling for like 15 years and they, um, they're not very comfortable with this idea or they don't fully understand it but I'm going to show you like if you have these textures and let me bring up that screen again that I had up um, so in this case these channels that are being packed they're all being packed into uh, what I'm going to refer to as like the metallic smoothness map uh, if I go back to unity where is it um, if I select it it would be this region where my cursor is. I don't know if you can see it, but it says base map, and then right below that is metallic map. That's where a lot of the packing is happening because it's like then there's smoothness. But if you look at um, the web page I was looking at, um, and for an example, I'll show it real soon on how to do this, but you can pack the metallic map in the red channel of a texture, and these are all one texture. The ambient occlusion map goes in the green channel. And then for this, the blue channel is empty, so there's nothing in there. And then the alpha is where the smoothness is. And in other, this smoothness is just an inverted roughness map. So let's go ahead. And for this example, just imagine that you're trying to bring in some assets into uh, Unity and you need to convert it. You have your traditional maps, you would just come here I'm going to show you how to convert these. So first things first, I want to open up the uh, roughness uh, roughness map, metallic map in uh, Photoshop. So let me go ahead and open that up. Open with Photoshop. OK, that's my roughness map. I want the metallic map as well. Showing explore. So I'm going to show you two approaches. 
So if your project allows for, um, if your project, some projects only, they only want PNG files. So in that case, if you have to set, the workflow for saving this as a PNG is slightly different than um, like a Photoshop file. So I'll show you the PNG version first. So the idea is that um, the metallic smoothness map is just a metallic map, which I have open right here. This is a, just a plain metallic map. Um, you mask it. I'm going to come back here. This is a roughness map. If you invert it, you get the uh, smoothness map. Um, so control I and um, Photoshop. And now this is the smoothness map, the opposite of a rough, roughness map. Um, so now I need to, going back to um, this thing here, it says the smoothness map is stored in the alpha of, in this case, the metallic map. Uh, so if I come back here, a good way to paste this in is you want to alt click on your mask. So it takes me inside of my mask. And if you want to click out of it, um, I don't know if you see my cursor, but you click back on your texture uh, on the layer and it'll take you back and then I'll click back. So if I come in this other texture here where I want to paste this in, I uh, control C, uh, I, um, what is it? Select everything in this circle by control A. And then from here, you see those little selection around the screen. Uh, press control C. Um, and I'm gonna come back into this mask uh, and then press control V. And now when I come out of it, the met, um, metallic map is being uh, masked by the, um, um, in this case would be the smoothness map. So it, it's a little bit confusing. From here, um, if you if I come back into um, my Unity folder, I need to find the directory where I saved this. So now when you go and um, save this as, and I'm going to go, okay, I'm already there. I'm just going to make a uh, temp folder. I don't know what to call it, but I'm just going to call it this. So ha the way you would want to call this, I mean, I think when I export this texture out of Sussex Painter, it just calls it a metallic smoothness map, which I think it makes sense. Um, so, and then you can save it as a PNG. And then if I go back into, uh, well, let me, is it still saving? Interesting. Let me go back in here. Metallic, I probably saved it the wrong directory, but let me try one more time. Smoothness, select, yeah. Okay, all right. So that's, that came in. And I usually turn on, just to make sure you have the transparency, alpha is transparency, just turn that on. Uh, and then you can see that information is there. So that's a metallic smoothness map. And another th another file that I like to also, m this one, um, I'm not really sure if you can save it as a PNG, but usually I save uh, this version that I'm about to show you as a um, PSD file. So. So this is, this is method one, and this is where you see a lot of studios do it this way, save it into PNG. But if I go back to this right here, the channel packing, I wanna also save the, the green, the AO into the green channel. And you'll see it'll do something very interesting when I do this, but I'm just gonna start, you know, undo, I'm gonna remove this mask. I'm just gonna start from here. So, because this, this, um, this I like to do this in my own project files because it's, it's a little bit easier for me to follow. Well, this one only has one channel. I need, I'm gonna start a new new, ch uh, new file, uh, 4096 by 4096. Resolution RBG, it looks good. Okay, so now I have all my channels. So going back to this here, red is metallic. So I'm gonna go find, so red is metallic, uh, green is occlusion, blue we leave it empty, and alpha is smoothness. And this one's gonna look a little bit more 
I, mean, I find this a little bit easier to follow, but let's see if, if that's actually a hose. So this is the metallic. I'm going to go into the channel, red channel. Right now there's nothing in there. I'm going to paste it in there. So now it's only in the red channel. And then, oh, uh, was it? Um, green is AO. So let me go into my Unity project. I'm sorry, my directory is a little bit messed, but this is the corresponding AO. I'm going to open that in Photoshop. All right. So that goes in the green channel. You come here, boom. You notice the, the color is getting interesting, but uh, that that's one thing that's kind of hard to follow with these. Um, so blue channel is empty because nothing goes in there. We need an alpha channel for the smoothness. Um, new channel, I'm going to call it alpha, okay. And I'm going to come back here. This is my smoothness map. And then um, I'm going to paste it into here. Boom, close that off. And um, I, I'm doing the same method. I'm just control A to select the whole grid. And then uh, I'm just copy pasting it in. So now we have this interesting map that looks quite odd. Um, but um, usually I call this a mask map. Um, but really you can call it whatever you want, whatever makes sense to you. But it looks like um, some of the Unity's documentation has, uh, refers to this um, as a mask map. And I'll show you one really cool thing about this. So I'm going to save this again. And I'm just, I don't know. I forgot what the naming convention I had for this. Um, I'm going to call this mask map, OK, PSD. And one thing I like about this is everything's here. Um, and it's super easy to connect it in Unity. So I go back into this mass map. It has the metallic texture. It has the uh, smoothness texture and ambient occlusion texture. So if you came um, into a material, if you created one, um, let me just create one as an example. Um, example um, material you would actually plug this material into the metallic. It automatically connects into the smoothness. Um, one just means you want the full, your, your full smoothness that you have in that. Um, you can adjust that. Um, and But also, if you, you can plug it into the ambient inclusion. And I'll, I'll show you what that looks like. Let me go ahead and um, find the other textures and connect them. OK, albedo goes here. Um, Normal goes here. Let's go in and put an emission in there. Put it, make it white so it actually reads. And then emission goes here. All right. So let me let me quickly tint it just so I can really tell if I'm dropping this onto something. And I'll I'll remove that tint after I finish uh, dropping it off. Okay. So th this is an example of channel packing. And the AO is inside the mask map. And if you notice here, if I scroll this ba back down, you'll notice that uh, you can see the AO get bumped up. So that's a mask map. And um, I guess if anybody knows if you can save all that data into a, just a regular PNG, let me know. But as of right now, I've never heard of that uh, being a, um, someone being able to do that. So, but so if you want to pack everything in, then you need to save it at, with the channels. But if you don't need the AO into um, one texture, then you can just save it at, into the metallic texture, then you can just save it as a PNG. So, and that's basically how you would go on about converting a uh, roughness uh, texture setup into something that's compatible with Unity URP. Um, yeah, I hope that helps.